Hello everybody. Welcome to part two of the super simple macro pad build guide. Now in the last video I showed you how to put together your macro pad, solder the microcontroller, solder the switches, put all the pieces together and start using it. And I mentioned in that last video that I would make an update video that would also show you how to reprogram your macro pad to have different functionalities that you would like to have. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do that. And um, the first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to go to the storefront to download one specific file. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Epsi storefront where I am selling the macro pad. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who bought the super simple macro pad so far. Uh, you guys have been great. So much support and love for this macro pad. I've had such a fun time designing it and making it and fulfilling all the uh, orders. And a lot of people are really enjoying it. So thank you very much. I really appreciate, appreciate the support that you guys have. And I also encourage you, if you haven't done so yet, to join the Discord. I have a Discord now. Uh, you can join the Discord to stay in touch and also get updated as soon as I release something new or I have some ideas I'm, I'm talking about with different people, new stuff coming up. I also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. It's a bit more of a passive experience, but whenever a new product comes out, I also notify the newsletter. Uh, so yeah, feel free. Uh, links are going to be in the description of this video. And again, thank you very much for your support. And now back to the explanation. So. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go to the description of the Super Simple Macro Pad over here and you'll see a line here that says via compatible layout, JSON, and then a URL. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this URL and then paste it into a different tab and then automatically it's going to download a file. Now I have the file already downloaded over here. It's going to have a weird long name with numbers and letters and stuff like that. Don't worry, it's just a text file. Nothing wrong with that. So you're going to download that and you're going to extract it somewhere, okay? The next thing you're going to do is that you're going to go to a website called caniuseviya.com. Well, all one word. The link is going to be in the description. And this website looks like this. This is basically the software on your computer that lets you reprogram your macro pad, your custom keyboard, anything that lives in the custom keyboard scene pretty much now runs with this configurator um, compatible with it. So it's very easy to use and I'm going to show you right now how to use it. So you go to the download tab over here. When you click it, it's going to open a GitHub page and then you can just find whichever distribution that you want. So if you have a Mac, you can download the DMG. If you have a Windows computer, you can download the EXE and uh, whatever else, uh, anything you understand from this, then you could use it. And just to keep in mind that if you have it on multiple computers, um, it doesn't matter because it gets saved into the actual macro pad, whatever the settings are. So if you move from one computer to another, it'll automatically detect the new changes that you have, right? So I already have it installed. So let's boot it up and I'll show you what it's going to look like for the first time booting up this, this program called VIA. So when you boot up VIA, this is what you get greeted with. When you plug in the super simple macro pad, it's not going to detect it automatically, unfortunately. Now, this is how it is for the time being. Maybe in the future, it's going to get detected automatically. But for now, the information that VIA needs to detect the super simple macro pad is not by default integrated into it. So you need to add it manually. And that's pretty much the file that we just downloaded. So. Now, the first thing we do is that we go to file up here, you click on file and you find import key map. It's very simple, the only option. So you click import key map and then you browse to your file and then you just double click it, boom. And there you go. Now you have a macro pad showing up with the four, uh, with the eight switches like your actual macro pad in front of you. And it's a super simple macro pad. So there you go, you have it detected. Now, next step, you want to change the functionality. Well, let me show you how it's done. So this is the visual representation of your macro pad. You can select each switch individually, and then you can select for each switch highlighted what functionality you want it to have. So for example, this four here, I want it to be a F4 instead. 
for example. You see here I have different buttons and functionalities. Uh, let's say that this previous here, which is previous song, like when you hit the back, I want it to be a home button. And then the next one I want it to be an end and so on. So once you do that, automatically it's going to get programmed into your macro pad. You don't have to save, you don't have to export, you don't have to flash, you don't have to do anything. You just change the functionality and automatically it gets saved into the macro pad. Now, another cool thing about Via is that you can click on key tester over here and then you have this generic looking virtual keyboard uh, that pretty much has like the normal functionality, normal keys that a keyboard would have. And there you could actually test your macro pad to see if it works or not. So we said that the top right button is the F4. So if I hit it, F4 is going to pop up. Yep, it worked. And uh, I also started with home and end, top left, home, end, there we go. So the functionality works. So this is a really cool thing. Um, another more complex level that you could add to it as well is the idea of layers and multiple layer functionality. So another thing about the custom mechanical keyboard scene and, 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 and machines is that you could have one switch do multiple functions based on some other switch, whether it's pressed or not. So if we look at here, this M03, this pretty much says it's a momentary on and it triggers layer three. So this is what we call a layer. So you see here we have layer zero, layer one, layer two, and layer three. You basically have four layers of functionality to, that you could assign to these switches. So if we go to three, because I have it here set to trigger layer three, you'll see that now I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And this triangle means it, it defaults to whatever it was on the normal layer. So now here we have home, end, play, F4, volume down, volume up, mute, momentary. And then when you hit the momentary, you hold it down. Now you have this functionality. So if we go to the t key tester again, I'll explain that to you. So like we said, home, end, F4, for example, and if I hold the momentary and now hit A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And now back to home and, and F4. So obviously this is a very powerful feature and you can have four of these layers. So you have the base layer, which is the default layer without hitting anything. That's layer zero. And then you have a second layer, a third layer and a fourth layer that you could have assigned to do different things. Now, obviously, VIA can do a lot more complex stuff than that. You can have stuff with macros, snippets, and all that stuff, but this is beyond the scope of this introductory video. The idea behind this video is really just to get you started with this if you don't know anything about this, and just getting it to actually use the keys that you need it to be used. So I hope you found that interesting and you hope you find that useful. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. All the links are going to be in the description and you can also join the Discord. Like I said, if you have any questions, you can go to the Discord and you can just ask me directly. I'll probably answer it right away or within a few hours. I'm very active on Discord. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you found this, this interesting and useful and um, enjoy your micropad. Thank you very much.